Welcome to this presentation. I'm Xiaoyu. Today I'm going to introduce our recent work on motion planning for multi robot local manipulation utilizing task space decomposition. While performing simultaneous locomotion and manipulation tasks, compared with a single mobile manipulator system, a multi mobile manipulator system is more appropriate in overall payload. Each robot only needs to apply a portion of effort. Resilient to failures, it means that the mistake of one robot has less effect on the task completion. Versatile tasks, there are more tasks can be done by a multi-mobile manipulator system. Unfortunately, several challenges are involved in motion planning for multi-robot local manipulation problem. Firstly, it requires completing both local motion and manipulation simultaneously, and the mobile base and the manipulator always have a different kinematic or dynamics. Secondly, higher number of robots in the team can increase the dimension of configuration space. This higher space complexity will result in higher computational complexity. Lastly, when several manipulators hold an object, closed chain kinematic constraint are formed. It will challenge the motion planner by inducing lower dimension low singularities, as shown in picture. To address those challenges, we propose a dual-resolution motion planning framework, consists of two planners with different planning space, and each component is primarily responsible for different challenges. As shown in animation, we have a low-resolution global planner expressed in the lower dimensional decomposed task space regions from star to go, while another local planner completes the task by computing a path in high dimensional constraint configuration space. Although our framework is not limited to a specific searching algorithm, we use the RRT as our searching algorithm, which searches in decomposed task regions which are generated by this component called task space decomposition. Our task space decomposition rely on Iris algorithm to compute large optical free convex region, which is a work from Days and Tedrick in 2015. Recently, Alonzo Mori presented another work on motion planning for multi-robot local manipulation that built on top of Iris. The key insight of their work is to feed the entire formation into the lower left convex region. Since their approach requires that the robot team maintains a formation that does not intersect with obstacles, the object can only be manipulated in SE3 with ground mobile based manipulator. To overcome this drawback, we instead compute decomposed convex regions for mobile base and the manipulator separately. Therefore, our planner can apply to SE3 local manipulation task. So, how our task space decomposition works? Similar to Aries algorithm, obstacle free convex region is represented by linear constraints. Begin with the initial guess by getting a random point from workspace as a seed. We iteratively compute a convex polytop restricted by obstacle. This red polytop is a convex task space region for manipulator. Next, we project the 3D convex region onto 2D and set a virtual optical. Lastly, we compute the 2D convex task space region in half space for each mobile base. To get the path in configuration space with complex constraint, like a closed chain kinematic constraint, it is essential to get a valid configuration. Curtis and Garvey utilize the random loop generator to generate a valid configuration, which fails into a direct sampling strategy. Our work is similar to Stelman's work and Burson's work in utilizing the Jacobian pseudo inverse projection method. We differ in generating valid configuration in smaller space by dynamically switching the decomposed task space region instead of constraining the fixed task space region like Burson's work does, and we can update in parallel at each step. Of course, as the Jacobian pseudo inverse projection method used to do, we need to find an update vector. Before we do that, we have two assumptions. 
the connection between any factor and object will not be broken, and the distance between any two of the any factor will be constant. In practice, we must also take into account the issue of step size, singularity avoidance, and uh, joint limits when projecting configurations. Uh, first, uh, given a random configuration of manipulator QAM, we can compute update vector QM dot by assuming its adjacent manipulator is in desired pose. Then, since we have a pre-computed convex task space for the mobile base, the data log can be avoided. The distance to the configuration space of mobile base is uh, basically a substructure. Lastly, the entire update can be found. Here, I would like to emphasize that we can compute the update vector in parallel for each mobile manipulator in practice. We evaluated our method in two simulations to test the performance of collaborative object transportation. In the first simulation, we demonstrated how two mobile manipulators pass through an interior door and a long narrow passage while maintaining contact with object that is to check if closed chain kinematic constraint is satisfied. Well, in the second experiment, we evaluated our planner on a team of three mobile manipulators in optical rate scenario. Our simulation demonstrated that our proposed method can enable the team of mobile manipulators to change its base and arm configurations to pass through a complex environment. Moreover, the object can be manipulated in SE3 space. Besides, we also compared the execution time of our planner against the RLG and the TSR method. Our planner exhibits faster planning time compared with other methods in both environments. Moreover, our method, according to the result, is more stable and it has a smaller standard deviation but our method may be less efficient in optical rich environment. Toward an even more complicated collaborative local manipulation task, grasping during manipulation cannot be neglected. Therefore, in our future work, we would like to relax one assumption, contact can be broken, to enable a more general collaborative multi-robot local manipulation task. With the inspiration of theoretics work on dyadic manipulation, we plan to achieve this by adding a gray spin planner into local planner. Obviously, a novel representation for a local planner is also needed. So this is the end of my presentation. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my co-author. Without their help, this work would not have been possible. If you have any questions regarding our work or if you are interested in our future work, Please do not hesitate to contact me at any point in time with email. Thank you very much for attention.